Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about watercolor. If you're following me on Instagram, then you most likely saw that picture I posted about my new big girl watercolor set by Shminka. I did record a video a couple days ago, but it just didn't turn out the way that I had hoped. When I was editing it, I was just like, this is not worth posting because most of the time when I was doing the swatches, um, my commentary is just really annoying. <laughs> That's why with like most of my videos, I don't do a lot of voiceovers because I feel like I don't have much to say. If I did post that video, all you would have heard was, oh my gosh, so pigmented. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my lord. Yeah. At least this time I'll be able to give you guys a real review because you know, I actually have been using it um, since I got it, I've used it maybe twice, and yeah, so I will be talking about that. But first of all, most of you guys know that I have been using the Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolor set, and it's the 12 pan, this is the pocket size one, that I have seriously used for maybe almost three years now. So way before I started my YouTube channel, and... You know, it's been really good to me. You know, if you're really just starting out with watercolor, I suggest this because it's so compact and it just gets the job done. But since I am at this stage in my art journey where I feel like I really need to upgrade, I feel like I need to use really high quality watercolors. And I have been researching for months and months now. And thankfully there was this viewer who commented on one of my old videos about watercolor and I really appreciate your comment. You know who you are. I'm sorry I don't remember your username but you really helped me a lot with picking out this new watercolor set. I was really hesitant and kind of indecisive with which one I should go for so I asked that person what they recommended and Schminka was one of them and I did hear about Schminka you know before they mentioned it like I would I'd see pictures of them on Instagram, um, Tumblr, but I was just really intrigued by the actual palette because it just looks so pretty. <laughs> and, you know, up until I saw that person's comment about Schminka, I was like, you know, maybe I should just do more research on it and see if it's something that I would look into. For a few weeks, I was really reading about, you know, the reviews, and it received a lot of great comments. I think on Blake's website it was like 4.8 out of 5. So that's really good. You know, just reading through all the reviews, it really just got me to really dive in and buy one for myself. So here it is. The Schminka. <laughs> of course, I gotta personalize it with my Doodlina sticker. Um, this is the Schminka 24 half pan set. And it's pretty heavy. So when you open it, it comes with one palette right here, and then another one right here, and then here it is. Ah! 24 beautiful colors. When I first saw it, it just brought me to my childhood because if you guys are, I'm sure most of you guys have felt this way. When you bought, you know, when you're younger, you bought the 24 to 48 crayon set, the Crayola one. It had a little sharpener on the side. It was just like the complete set. And you know, that excitement for those crayons, just same exact feelings for this one, but on a whole different level. So the pros about this, I would say, is the pigmentation. The pigmentation and the vibrancy of the colors are just amazing. A little bit just goes a long way. It's just so smooth and buttery. Look at this. It's it's so different from the Winsor & Newton. So as you can see, the watercolor, it's really dry. You need a lot more water to get the colors out. But this one is just... Look how glossy it looks. You see that? It's just amazing. One of my favorite things about this palette is the application. When you apply it onto the paper, it's just 
it just flows more fluidly than the other watercolors I've tried. I'm not a professional when it comes to watercolor because I'm mainly self-taught. So along the way, I learn more and more about how to pick watercolors and what to really think about. And one of them is the light fastness. Picking watercolor that is light fast is highly important, especially if you are someone who is looking into selling your artwork, like your original art, because of course you would want your work to last for years. You know, the pigmentation might fade if you choose to use cheaper watercolor sets. You know, of course it's okay to use the student grade ones if you're, it's just more personal work. And it's so important to keep your artwork out of this direct sunlight because the sun rays can really damage your artwork and it can really fade the pigmentation more quickly if you are using watercolors that are not light fast. I hope I explained that pretty well because, you know, I'm still learning and I just want you guys to know what I know and hopefully it will help you guys as well. So the cons. They're not huge cons, but they're just more of like my personal preference. So the problem I had with my old palette, the Windsor Newton Cotton Watercolors, is that it didn't have um, its own pan for ivory black. So what I ended up doing was just using my tubes. Like I have the Windsor Newton Cotton Watercolor tubes as well. So I would use the ivory black and I would squeeze them out onto the palette and just let it dry. So it was kind of the same problem with this palette, except this one has ivory black, but it doesn't have titanium white. So I ended up doing the same thing with this one. So I used the titanium white from my Cotman watercolor tubes and I haven't had a problem with mixing the two different watercolors together since they're different qualities and brands. The other problem that I have with this palette is that, you know, if I bring this palette along with me in my purse, you know, it's moving around in my bag and when I do open it, sometimes some of the pans come off. You know, they're not magnetic or anything on the bottom, so sometimes they don't really feel like they're secure. Do you guys have that problem as well? Um, I did have a problem with that with the my old palette, so what I ended up doing was using square adhesives and just sticking them on the bottom of them and you know they've been secure so maybe I should do that with this one too. That's pretty much it. I have just been loving this. It's so amazing and definitely a great investment. I would definitely recommend this palette to anybody who is looking to upgrade as what I did because it's just an awesome palette. There are different sets. There's one 12 pan set, there's an 18, is it 18? 18, 24, and then 48. I think that the 24 is a good in-between. To be honest, it did take a little bit of time to get used to because I think it's more of the fact that the palette is much smoother and glossier. Yeah, before I go, let me show you guys, oh, wrong side. Let me show you guys the swatches I did. I won't go into detail about them all, but I'll show you the overall page. As you can see, I made it a separate page for all of the colors. Most of them are with just one layer. I can't get over this one, the cadmium red light. This was just one layer. They're just so vibrant, so beautiful. I'm just really happy with this. Take a closer look. And all of these colors are all in order in the palette. So, I'll be sure to post swatches on my website. I'll scan them for you guys so you have a better look at them. And also if I forget anything else, I'll write them all down on my blog at charvillana.com. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments down below. And create every day, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!